G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, I am going to attempt, and I say attempt because I'm going to try and do, those are scratches, <laughs> if you're wondering what those are, little puppy scratches. I'm going to try and do a metallic silver bloom. I've had this sitting in some hot water just so that it can soften up a little bit. Um, now, I'm going to pop just a little bit of this black crushed glass in there and I'll have a, like a little black center just a tiny bit of resin to go with that I'm going to pop 30 ounces in here uh, one one ounce 30 grams and there we go that's it and then the rest of it is just going to go in my mold. Now this is my 22 centimeter. I think that's dirty. 22 centimeter um, round tray mold. I've got the this is small round. I've got small, medium, and large in my store. This is the 22. Right now, let's decant. Um, this is the Platinum 360 Plus Resin. I mixed up 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B. And it has been sitting for 20 minutes. I do like to pipe at 25 minutes, so I'm going to have to get a riddle on now. Got a little bit in here. That's going to be my little center. I like to do it like quite chunky, otherwise it just floats around. So yeah, um, have a go at metallic silver blooms. I have tried it. Um, I think this is my number four or number five attempt. Um, I tried silver inks, I tried silver mica powder, I did try silver paste, I think I used too much. <laughs> it's, it's a bit tricky, not as easy as um, just the white pigment paste, but then, you know, every time you want to try something new, you've got to sort of change it up a little bit, hey. So, relatively large centre because it's a large piece. Hopefully it's centred. Right. I can see lots of bubbles on it. We'll pop those again in a minute. Right, now that I've done that, I also want to use a little bit of, I was just going to do plain silver and then I thought, oh, it might be a bit too boring. So I've got some of this, Midnight. This is the Octopus Fluid Inks. And I'm going to pop a bit of those in. I've still got a million little bubbles sitting there on top of those. But um, we'll see what happens. Okay, is that enough? Is that enough? I don't know. Not sure. I just wanted a little bit of black ink rather than just everything silver. Right, now while that ink is moving, because it will move, this is when we start mixing either our white pigment paste or whatever color you're using. So this is the silver. It's by Lores, and it's I can't tip it. It's called Molten silver. Now the reason I've had it sitting in boiling water is to thin it out a little bit because when I did my scoop because it was so thick um, I got a lot more than I wanted. So basically I'm going to mix it, I'm going to wipe the bottom, I'm going to let some of that drip off and I'm only going to keep a little bit that's on the top there and I may even not use all of that. So we'll see. Because, again, because it's a metallic, it's quite heavy, I think. So I want it just opaque. When I did it, well, <laughs> I don't know, a few times ago, like I said, I made it too, too heavy. Now I'm just going to clean, I'm going to wipe that stick um, just to get the excess off and then I can see what it actually looks like. 
it's a bit hard to see through the stick because of the color but I think it's I think it's okay it's just opaque all right now <clears throat> what's the time it's two o'clock it is time for me to pipe I do want to just zap those little bubbles again and I also want to just run my little silicone stick around the edge because I can see a few little bubbles clinging to the edge I do like to cling to silicone but as you can see this resin is pretty much bubble free it degasses on its own it's lovely uh, I think you guys in the States are able to get it now hey and um, I was told that uh, the UK will be getting it soon too so that'll be exciting hey all right, here we go, you guys. Here we go. I'm going to wrap that around there. I'm just going to use my stick. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Mm, let's just do this. Just don't like that edge that it's got there. Make it a little bit more wispy. All right, hopefully this will look pretty against the, the grey or, or silver. All right, here we go. This is the 25 minute mark. I haven't taken its temperature or anything. I just waited the 25 minutes and I'm going to start at the outside. I'm going to wipe the bottom and then just let what's on my stick on the top make the petal like so. I'm just trying to put it on the top but it does kind of go down into the resin a little bit uh, but that's okay I don't know if there's enough room left to do a like a top coat I'm not sure we'll have to wait and see once this is done whether there's room for like a black top coat like even if you do a top coat it doesn't have to be really thick you can just do like a, a really thin little top coat it just makes the blooms pop and I think black against the silver will look really pretty All right, here we go around again I feel as if these outer ones are thick enough they have to be thick lines or they won't spread properly so just take your time let the resin run off the stick in a nice thick line hopefully it'll work the one that I did yesterday my test piece it did work I didn't video it because it was just a little test piece it did work but it was just a, a small coaster so gone up to a bigger size now so it might not work but I don't know we'll see we'll see like you know I'm, I think I'm pretty good with doing the white pigment paste next row so there yeah, the next challenge is doing different colors I guess it's in the the silver and if this works then I can try some gold um, some copper I find that the paste works better than the like a mica powder it just does I, I don't know why paste just work better I think it's just because they're heavier the I tried the silver mica powder and it just all floated and merged together and there was no definition it was just one big silver blob so yeah that didn't work <laughs> I'll keep going around nearly there we don't need to do any in the actual center center I'm hoping it'll um, you know close up on its own like that all right you guys that's it let's make this one up here a little bit thicker 
there's a few more that just look as if they need to be a little bit thicker. So I'm starting at the opposite side that I started to on the other side just to make them a little bit thicker. On the other hand, if you put too, too much paste in, like too much of the coloured resin in, makes them really heavy and then they've got more chance of sinking. So again, you've got to just be careful. Now I'm just going to enhance these little petals a little bit in a couple of places. That looks pretty good. It's a bit hard to see what's going on in here. Once you start putting ink in there, it's really hard to see what's going on. Can't see through the ink. Like on the outside, I can see them, that you know, they're blooming beautifully, but can't really see through the, the ink as much. So I can't really see if it's, if they're blooming. Should just stop fiddling. Um, now I'm going to wait a few minutes, um, hopefully for, for the centre to bloom, and then I'll come and do my swirl. I find it just works better than swirling earlier. Give it another torch, and I'm just going to grab my heat gun out, put it on low, and just push the middle around a bit. Give the middle a bit of a, a bit of a push. Get that resin moving. Okay, that's enough. I don't think you need to do too much. We'll see how that goes. Um, for those of you that have had trouble with your centers blooming, um, the main reason is that. Um, the resin has started getting too thick um, because you know how resin moves from the outside in and it moves really well when the resin's nice and thin but once it starts thickening up and it's getting too hot it doesn't move very much um, so I, don't, I probably didn't need to do that like heat it but just to be on the safe side now I'm going to give it a few minutes it's almost 10 past 2 I'm going to give it a few minutes if the center hasn't hasn't bloomed properly, I'll come back with my little secret. Actually, look, I'm missing a few areas here. I wonder if it's too late. Ooh, no, I better not. Better not. Um, like I wanted to put another one in there, but no, just leave it. They don't have to all be symmetrical. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, if in a few minutes, if I come back and the center's not blooming as well as the outside is. Um, I'll do my secret bloom trick, but um, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll just put you on pause. I'll be back in five. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Put you down. Oops, loosen my little phone grip there. Um, you can see the outside is blooming really nicely. There's a few areas, like from here is doing well there's a few areas like in here I don't see that that's blooming very well just that little bit see this one here it's not really doing much so I'm going to go in with my little trick right now uh, put my glove back on you would have seen me do this before if you've been following me you would have seen me do this before um, I just use a syringe with um, Use the one with the little point on top and we'll just put that directly into the middle and suck 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 and you can see what that's doing it's pulling that resin so I'm gonna do a little bit more I've got plenty of resin a little bit tricky to do normally I'd get my head right over the top of it and do it but you know you don't want to see the back of my head so I've used this syringe a few times already so it's getting a little bit 
sticky. All right, I think that's looking good. All right, so now you go, okay, now you've wasted your little syringe. Not necessarily. I'm just going to squeeze that into, hopefully you can see still, just going to squeeze that excess resin out. So that's what I got out. Now, in, I put some little, some alcohol in my little cup here. And I'm just going to draw it up, push it out, draw it up, push it out. And I'm just going to do that quite a few times. I'm going to move it away from my piece though, in case I just drop alcohol in it. So I'm just going to basically up and down, up and down until I get, you know, as much of that black resin out. Um, and then, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll keep going with it because it's not totally clean, but you can see. So basically, that's it. What do you think of my chichi, guys? What do you think? Thank you, Julie. All right. Donations welcome, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got verbal diarrhea today. All right, so now that that's done um, and the resin has all pulled in nicely, this is where I'm going to go and do my little swirl. I'm Try not to touch the stones underneath. Let's do a little swirl. So basically I start from the middle, swirl out and swirl back in again. And last little torch and that's it. All right, I'm going to continue cleaning out my little syringe here. I mean, if you've got lots of syringes and you don't mind wasting syringes, you know, you can just throw your syringe away. But I like to reuse as much as I can. All right, I'm just going to get my gloves off. And then, all right, let's go down for another little look, shall we? All right, can you see the difference now? <gasps> look at that. No empty spaces. It looks divine, absolutely divine. I I can't be 100% though on what it looks like on the other side. We still may have some little blobbies. Um, there's like a couple on the edges there. But I think I, I can live with that. I can live with that. All right, you guys. Uh, when this is set enough, I'll come back and do a black top coat. So see you then. Righto, guys. This is touch dry now. It's only been a few hours. If I had to stick my nail in it, though, it would leave a dent. So um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to pour a little bit of black on. I was making up some black for um, another project, so I just made it a little bit more. Probably only needed about half a cup for this, if that. Maybe about, you know, 90, 100 grams, about three ounces is probably all you need. Depends how thick you want to go. But you don't need a lot. I have got more here though, so I'll just use it up. Now one time, oh it was like a year ago or something, I put a top coat on some coasters before it was really set enough. And where I poured, oh gosh I've just dropped, where I poured my initial puddle, um, it kind of left a ring on the not set resin underneath it. So now I just make sure that it's, you know, set. I probably wouldn't have done this one just yet, but like I said, I was mixing up some black resin for something else and I thought, and I made up a little bit more than I needed. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll put it on this, but it probably could have done with an extra hour. Still got some left. I have to find something else to do with a little bit of black. Just pushing that towards the edges. I'm not touching the edges. I kind of just push the resin so it makes a little wave <clears throat> and goes towards the edge on its own. So I don't want to touch the actual edges. All right, I think that's it. All right, so I've got a bit left. Give that a torch. Don't go near your silicone. Um, so yeah, that's it. Clean that off, 
All right, you guys, I'm so excited for this one. All right, I'll give it another torch in a few minutes and uh, I will see you tomorrow for the grand unmolding, okay? Okay, guys, it's the next day, bright and early. I've just got my coffee, my cappuccino. Let's have a look. I didn't even want to sit down and, and have it. I wanted to come out to the studio and, and do this. Sorry about the glare. A few little pieces that I'll just have to sand off, but it's the back, so it's really not going to be a problem. Get that little bit off. There we go. I think that's loosened it all the way around. A few little pieces to sand. All right, let's get that off. Oh my gosh. All right, are we ready? I'll do the countdown. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, shut the front door. <gasps> that is incredible. My center's moved a tiny little bit. <laughs> it's probably when I sucked the center out. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. If you... If you, um, if you do this and your center has moved a bit or something's wrong with it, what you can do to fix it is just put a top coat on this side and put a little bit more of your center in and like move it over a little bit. But um, oh, that doesn't bother me. Oh my gosh, it's such a tiny little, little area there to be filled. And if I was really pedantic about it, I, I would. I could do a top coat, put a little bit more of the crushed glass in. But, um, oh wow. Turn up my brightness a little bit. Look at it, you guys. It's not going to stay bright. It's because it's it's like 7 a.m. It's not it's not light yet. <laughs> oh well. And we've got this glare across here. This light. It's. Ah, oh, I'm a winger, aren't I? Oh, I just want to have a perfect video for you guys. All right, I'll have to turn that brightness up a bit. Oh wow, I just love it. <gasps> so happy with this one and I was worried that it wasn't going to work. The definition is just amazing. I've got a slight little swirl in the center there. The petals are great. There's a couple of little areas where that's a little bit heavy, but like it's not, as you would say, blobby. It's, it's just defined that sort of 3D look. Amazing. Oh, so happy with it. All right, I can go and sit down now and have my coffee in peace. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you've really enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something about metallics. And um, yeah, I will see you all real soon for the next video. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now.